you feel sleepy all the time? The moment you open the books, you start feeling sleepy. You very well know the time is ticking. The exams are coming closer, but you just are not able to overcome the sleepiness. If the answer to these points is yes, then keep watching the video right till the end. Hi guys, this is Dr. Marwa and today I'll be describing before you reasons from a doctor's perspective of why we feel sleepy whenever it comes to books. On the other hand, when it comes to playing video games or listening to songs, we can do it the whole day. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you some hardcore solutions like you can see in this picture of Vedic scholar whose hair have been tied to the wall primarily that he does not fall asleep. I'm going to give you an insight into a sleepyhead's mind and then I'm going to teach you five hacks how to overcome this. So are you the one who plans to sleep 8 hours but ends up sleeping 12 hours and wake up with a guilt? And the moment you open your books, in spite of sleeping those 12 hours, you still feel sleepy. If the answer to any of these two questions is yes, this video is definitely for you. Have you noticed the fact that you can play a video game the whole day without feeling sleepy? Because these video games would be giving you a false sense of accomplishment. How? They're going to give you some bonus points. They're going to give you a golden star. They're going to give you some coins. So therefore, it will always be flashing on the screen that you have graduated to a higher level and you will keep on feeling elated and the dopamine release in your brain would make you go back to the video game again and again. But when it comes to books, you start feeling sleepy. So I have identified three primary reasons why that happens. The first and the foremost being loss of burning desire. The second important would be lack of initiative or incentive. When I say incentive, it could be something as simple as that a person at 25 years of age does not want to be independent. He does not want to purchase his first car. I'm not talking about purchasing a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, but a simple Indian right hand drive car like maybe an Alto or maybe any other model that you like. But if that does not push you, then you definitely need to listen to the hacks or the solutions that I'm offering. A third and even more important reason is burnout due to wrong reading methods. Now considering that we have identified the problem, we need to look at solutions for it. And the first solution that I'm offering you is to make a timetable. Take a piece of paper, jot it down, the schedule for today and for tomorrow and for day after. I know initially it's going to be difficult and most people do not make a timetable because asliyat samne aajati because you really really not plan. But I can assure you the fact that if you can follow the timetable, 80% of those people who make it into the topmost ranks of any competitive exam are the ones who are in a habit of regularly making the timetable and mind my words next, it's not that making a timetable is sufficient, more important is being able to follow it. I'm not saying set yourself unrealistic goals, but at the same point of time, if you just jot down the topics that you're going to study today and tomorrow, make micro plans and gradually you will notice that the entire month would be planned and you would be able to increase your productivity. Solution number two, what most of us do is we get a very comfortable chair. The chair that you're seeing on the screen at the moment is primarily for video gaming. You can lounge on it, you can relax on it. But if you're studying on this kind of a chair, it will definitely make you feel sleepy after, let me say, half an hour to one hour. Studying is not about comfort, guys. You need to ensure that you go out of your comfort zone. So rather, I would say, especially for your studies, you need to have a corner dedicated in your room. And that corner should not be looking like, you know, straight out of a Karan Johar's movie. It has to be realistic. It has to be straightforward. Don't make it fancy i know the fact that a lot of people might be actually showing the study corners to you that might look very very fancy but i would like to keep it plain and simple that would be my advice to you and your chair has to be the one that's kind of present in a coaching center for example which is you know not uncomfortable but definitely not comfortable why do they purchase these chairs primarily because they want you to be attentive now you need to incentivize something that incentive could be you know getting a rank that incentive could be something as simple as purchasing your first car by the age of 25 because you don't want to get into that rut that you're 25 years of age and your mom and dad are saying kiska kya hoga iska career ka kya hoga right 25 saal ke ho gaye abhi earning start nahi kiya so you need to plan right now from this very moment so that you don't reach that stage when your parents have to care for you rather you should be the one who should be taking care of them so you need to move from compulsive activity. Compulsive activity would be something like playing a video game or just scrolling on the internet to a goal-directed activity. 
Mark my words there guys, I said two simple things. I said compulsive activity to compulsive goal directed activity and how would you come to the step three is by starting with point number one or the solution number one that I gave you starting from a timetable to ensuring the fact that you are not on a very comfortable chair and then start doing things on a daily basis. Coming to solution number four, you need to identify the time zone of your study that you're comfortable with. My take on nighttime study would be like this, that I would suggest you to study till maybe 2 a.m. in the night. But if you're going to study longer than that, then next morning you will always wake up with a kind of a hangover. You will always be having a literally heavy head. You would be then maybe binging on coffee or tea. But believe me, that does not increase the productivity of the number of hours. Studies have documented the fact that the way our biological clock works, the way our circadian rhythm works it is rather daytime study which has been proven to be more productive and whenever you wake up in the morning the first thing you need to do is uh, plan out your day and revise what you studied day before yesterday because as i've highlighted the bottom line the basic foundation of this entire discussion is scheduling and you need to keep it practical because if you're gonna make a schedule that okay i'm gonna read a lot of uh, internal medicine in a single day maybe finish cardiology in one day it's definitely not possible so you need to make those targets achievable and by those micro targets you will be able to reach to the final goal Coming to solution number five, you need to finish one subject totally before you move on to making combination of subjects. I know a lot of guys do that, but believe me, this just gives you pseudo confidence because you are going to think you are trying to do so much, but at the end of 10 days or 15 days, neither of the two subjects would have been completed. Anyway, you see this combination strategy is very, very good when it comes to the first revision. But for the first read, you need to finish a subject, get done with it, and then move on to the second one, primarily because of the fact that it takes a very long time when you try to integrate the subject. So integration is something which is for the second or let me say the third reading per se. And now I come to the most important part of this discussion. I mean, the main motive why you are listening to me is primarily because you need to complete your syllabus. Everybody, you know, somehow manages to to finish the syllabus but what do you remember in the exam you remember either what you studied one day before the exam or what are you going to remember the subject that you've read three times so get yourself an incentive get yourself that drive get yourself that kick to make you moving and you are able to rather utilize your time properly so that by 25 26 you are independent you can at least be standing on your own feet and you could make your parents proud Thank you guys for watching this video and do comment in the comment box below regarding which of these five strategies would you be deploying in the next one month so that you can increase your productivity. Thank you so much.